Well, here we are on John Tian Beach, and we're just going to pop into and have a look at the Wombat and Kiwi Bar. It's that one there, the blue one, and they have a bar up on the roof too, a roof bar. So we're going to have a look in here and watch the sunset. Unfortunately, it might be a bit of a damp squib because I think that's it's too cloudy for a bit of sunshine. Okay, so here we go. Let's get across the road, if we can get across the road without being run over. So this is one of those rare events. I don't even remember doing this one, but I went in there and I think there was, the boss was behind me because I could hear somebody talking and he was talking to a member of staff, but he didn't get in the picture, but it's just weird because there's nobody there. It's like the Marie Celeste. Just after somebody said, first one in, boys the beer? And they're gone. Okay, so we're just walking around through the bar and at the back, there is a big TV. And then on the left, there's a library. And it's quite a good one, actually. Quite a good one. A good run of books in there. Okay, I'll read them all out, but I can't read that many at once. Okay, good. So then this was somebody taking a picture of my food. It was a steak, actually. It was a, a small steak, a uh, console of chips. It was really good. I don't know why I had it, because I don't really like steak, but there you go. It was good anyway. And then here we are. This is upstairs in the upstairs bar. Now, it's a bit... Uh, it's, it was really... I enjoyed my time up in the, in the roof bar. But they sort of haven't opened it recently because the amount of customers has reduced. But I think as the customers come back, it will open again. It's really nice up there. Good place to go up for a beer at sunset. And just out of the way. It is 66 steps to uh, clamber to the top. And unfortunately, it's also 66 steps to get back down again. But it's, I've always felt it was worth it. Okay, now this is a random bunch of characters on the beach. Um, as it happens, uh, it's a wedding party, and they're actually not wedding planners, but if you want a wedding on the beach, these people could do it for you, because they've done their own. How about that? And I think that here, they're practicing for the All Blacks. They're trying to throw something backwards, I'm not sure. Okay, I think that was a... Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so they're having a good time, and they've just got wed. And it's time to throw the bouquet for the bridesmaids. And there we go. No, it never happened. So it was a fun day. They actually took over the whole beach area at the front. And they could do that again if you wanted to uh, have yourself a party. All good stuff. So there we go. There it goes. Yeah, it could be practicing for the All Blacks. That's just one of those little, but, but not football, rugby jokes, I don't know. Is it rugby? Who knows? I like to ask Phil when I see him. Okay, so we're going back across the road now, and here's my bricky, and that's the 140 baht one, it comes with bacon sausages. This one is, uh, I think they're doing a night at the races, and these are the odds, and the runners, I'm not sure. Is that right? I mm, don't know. Okay, and here's the lift, just installed, because of, of the roof bar. Okay, and here's the menu the all day breakfast big breakfast sausage and eggs sausage bacon eggs it's just good value actually burgers there's a variety of burgers uh, and then we've got fish and chips and we've got um, ribs coleslaw chips spaghetti bolognese ham cheese tomato toasted sandwich shrimp cocktail blt and some thai food there of course okay they got the wombat Burger, the kiwi burger, chicken burger, cheese me please burger, 
I said a fish burger, and they've got a chicken burger somewhere. Did I mention? Oh, yeah, there it is, chicken burger. So yeah, there's a lot of good stuff there, and I've tried a few of them. Not all of them, because they're a bit large for me sometimes. And look, there's Little Red making a guest appearance as Little Red. How about that? Yeah. So we've improved now. We've got a bosun's chair here. But of course I am really joking about that. It's not for people. But it's for taking stuff upstairs to the upstairs bar. Oh, now this is the one back breakfast in a bun. Bacon, eggs, and this one is chips in a basket. Well, it was a bowl and it was chips. So almost, it was not bad. I don't really know why that's here either, but there you go, they were good. And then look, we got bacon, eggs, sausage, bit of, uh, the breakfast here are good, I've had too many, definitely had too many, and it comes with a tea or a coffee of course, and a bit of orange juice, can't be bad. Now this one is a spag bog, and that was quite good actually, I enjoyed that. And then this one, this is actually, because they're Aussies don't forget, this one is actually a vegetarian burger, but because they're Aussies, it actually has a beef burger underneath the lettuce. I'm not sure how that works, but there you go. It must be an Aussie thing. Okay, now this is this is the barbecue. They have a five till six on a Friday. Every Friday, get down there. Free barbecue, sausage. Oh, I love those sausages. A bit of bread sausages, a bit of coleslaw, onions, and a few fries. And then we're back to the breakfast. I just had so many, I keep taking pictures of them. Okay, and there's the outside view. It's really nice over there. And look, there's Little Red back again. Uh, little Red. And there's Little Red looking at me, watching my video my breakfast. Look at that. Sausage. Eggs. It, this one, it's just to have less. I just had a cheap one, 120. Comes with the coffee and orange juice. Free barbecue today, 5 till 6 on Friday. And look, this is just help yourself from the barbecue trays. There's a burger in there, there's sausages, coleslaw, onions, 